The federal government has approved 5 billion naira for each state of the federation in the form of grants and loans to alleviate the effects of the fuel subsidy removal on vulnerable Nigerians. This is apart from the ongoing distribution of five trucks of grains, fertilizers and other food items as part of immediate palliative measures to each state in the country. Governor of Borno State, Babagana Zulum, stated these as part of the issues raised and agreed upon during the National Economic Council meeting presided over by Vice President Kashim Shatima. In order to cushion the effect of the subsidy removal, the federal government of Nigeria has released five trucks of rice to each state last week. Furthermore, in order to cushion the effect of food shortages across the country, the federal government has approved the sum of 5 billion naira to be given to each state for the procurement of 100,000 bags of rice, 100,000 bags of rice, 40,000 bags of maize, and fertilizers. There was no way you were going to avoid uh, forex volatility, as it were. If you just printed um, 22, 23 trillion naira and pumped into the system with nothing to back it by way of ways and means, which was what happened under the previous regime, there is no way you will pump all of those and not expect prices, inflation, and exchange rate to give way. Um, this is a very important point that people uh, we must all appreciate. And so I believe that the central bank is doing its utmost and probably uh, expecting a naira stability um, uh, in the days ahead, uh, trying to make the best of, the, um, of a bad uh, situation as it were. The country's investments to GDP ratio at the crude oil exports and refined petroleum products uh, have uh, dominated Nigeria's uh, trade uh, structure. And also the position of the Naira uh, against major trading currencies uh, deteriorated. The council also expressed concerns over the refusal of over 15 states to submit the report on the impact of the 2022 flood in their respective states. Kogi State Governor Yahya Bello hinted that the federal government will soon release funds to states affected by floods, while the NEC Secretariat would embark on an on-the-spot visit to the communities. Climate change is a reality. NEC recognized that Nigerians recognize that, that has come to stay. Whether states, what are states doing to mitigate against the effect? Every state is affected. And let me tell you, before any palliative or before any assistance come from any donor agency or federal government, every state makes effort to ensure that we take the peoples off harm's way. No state does not have, no state or no state governor will not uh, have the interest of his people at heart. So, uh, yes, there are some states that have not submitted, you know, quite what is desired. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.